animals does Barbie have? Welcome back to Shelby on Safari, the place where I, a wild animal biologist and lover of pop culture, often combine my passions into one. Today, we're headed to Barbie land to see some of the unique species Barbie has had over the years, as well as introduce you to my three picks for cool, unique species that I think would fit into Barbie land. So you ready? Join the safari and let's get started. Over the years, Barbie has had over 40 pets, ranging from cats to dogs to horses to even a giant panda cub. Oh yeah, I was surprised to find that in 1988's Animal Love and Barbie, she was paired with her own giant panda cub, whereas Ken had a chimpanzee and Nikki had a lion cub. Within the collection, there was also a zebra and a giraffe. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Barbie's first pet was a horse called Dancer. However, within the Barbie movies, there is one that stands out in terms of its animal content. It's actually my favorite Barbie film. It's of course Barbie as the Island Princess. Although I do have quite a few questions about some of the animal choices. I did rather enjoy seeing a red panda in the form of Saji featured in this film. And like that he was depicted as wise as well, because the red pandas I've worked with have certainly been rather clever. However, while the movies and the dolls have portrayed a range of species throughout the years, I think Mattel should consider adding these three to Barbie land. First up is the pink fairy armadillo. These guys are the smallest species of armadillo, but don't let their size fool you. They are excellent diggers. Take a look at their front claws. Now, while these guys are pretty darn cute, there is more to meet the eye, or at least so we think. It's really difficult for scientists to be able to research them because they're nocturnal and they spend most of their lives underground, hence the impressive front claws for digging. But I'd say the coolest part of this secretive species is the reason why it's pink. Get this, the pink color of their shell is due to the network of blood vessels underneath which can be seen through their armor. Isn't that cool? Up next is the Amazon River Dolphin, also known as the Pink River Dolphin. These guys only live in fresh water. Now, yes, they're pink as well, but the main thing that made me think they would fit into Barbie land is how the males woo their ladies. Kind of like Ken trying to impress Barbie. Male Pink River Dolphins will pick up floating pieces of plants or wood with their mouths, then twirl around in circles before then smashing said object on the water surface. Impressive. However, if Mattel were to make an Amazon pink river dolphin, I would suggest that they make their neck, well, rather flexible, not like some of the other dolphin toys that they've created in the past. This is because they have unfused neck vertebrae, allowing them to turn their head in all different directions to be able to check things out from every angle. And apparently for the males when they're trying to smack things around to woo the ladies. Last but certainly not least is my personal favorite, the American Flamingo. Like all flamingo species, the pink coloration is determined by what they eat and how much, specifically the amount of carotenoid pigment that is found in their diet. Which is why some people are really surprised when they see a flamingo chick, because this is a gray little ball of feathers. The flamingo's pink coloration goes deeper than its feathers. Quite literally, it is more than feather deep or skin deep because the carotenoids also get into the bird's tissues, their skin, their blood, and even the egg yolk. And yes, while the pink coloration lends itself nicely to Barbie land, I also think that flamingos remind me of the Barbies and Kins because they are highly gregarious birds that live in huge flocks. They can number up into the thousands. And as we see in the Barbie movie, there are some pretty snazzy synchronized dance parties. Flamingos also partake in ritualized group displays that help synchronize breeding within the colony. Some pretty moves in my opinion. What animals do you think should hang out with the Barbies and Kens in Barbie land? Let me know down in the comments below. Now I'm gonna head off to go see the Barbie movie, but to keep your adventure going, why not check out my playlist right here on real life animals that are like Pokemon. Go and click it, I'll see you over there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye Barbie.